We're doing a train the trainer for our instructors today in PIT. What PIT stands for is Precision Mobilization Techniques, and that gives our officer uh, tools that they can take on the streets every day. What it is is the intentional act of using a police vehicle in order to stop a fleeing vehicle. We'll probably be between January and June, we'll be instructing about approximately 300 sworn personnel through our pit training. We talk about the criteria that they need to meet, you know, who's in the car, have they done something violent, or, you know, do they have a hostage in the vehicle, um, are they driving at a high rate of speed? Um, so there's a lot of uh, different things that go into it, and we cover that in a classroom before we actually uh, do live scenario base with them at the airport. We had uh, four cars built. We had bars put on the inside and the outside of the car, the vehicle, to keep it safe. Because we'll be training over 300 individuals between those six months, we wanted the cars to last. This is the Buick that we'll be using. This is the one that we got for forfeiture. The driver was arrested with trafficking cocaine, so it went through a forfeiture. So we were able to use it for a pit car, so it actually saved our agency some money. That's one of our four cars that we used. There's, you break it down to three uh, steps. Once a uh, violator takes off on a law enforcement officer and they, they feel that there's a necessary to stop the vehicle, the first thing that what they're going to want to do is pace the vehicle. It's important because what happens if they don't pace the vehicle with the miles per hour, keeping the same miles per hour, they might go too shallow or too deep, but they won't actually be able to do an effective pit. Once they're pacing, they're actually going to match the vehicle. We call it matching. What that does is it sends a weight transfer from one side of the vehicle to the other on our fleeing subject. Once we have that, we're in a good position, then we're going to go ahead and do a pit maneuver. We're going to take a quarter turn into the vehicle, the direction we want it to travel, and we're just going to watch the car turn around once we do it correctly. It's important to have our law enforcement officers um, if they're going to do a pit to actually do it successfully. And in order to keep the violator safe, to keep the uh, officer safe as well as pedestrians.